you talk about different things you get anxious about. Um, what about anxiety over your own health? Is that something that's uh, significant? Uh, no, yes or no. Um, there's a certain anxiety. I was uh, in the hospital last year, last year? December, mm -hmm. um, where I had the, uh, the scars from the operation I had nine years ago. Uh, there's uh, scar tissue that grew into the intestines and then wrapped around them and blocked them, so I had to go in and uh, was there for a week uh, while they decided if they're going to operate or not. Um, but the long story short is uh, I have these scars in there now that uh, can wrap around the intestines at any time and then I got to go back to the hospital. So that in itself uh, created a lot of, of health anxiety. Mm -hmm. Because the way that the whole thing happened both times, uh, one, it's very painful and Both their, the first time was very traumatic. Uh, the second time, it was a week in the hospital, but it wasn't. They didn't cut me open. So, mm -hmm. um, but you know, there's that. We kind of said it'll probably happen again. And so I have surgery anxiety. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. In terms of being um, more stubborn versus more yielding, where would you rate yourself? Um. When people sort of contradict you, um, give a different opinion, or disagree, is that do you take that easily, or does that irritate you? Um, it depends on the subject, but you know, if it's uh, within a conversation, then it's usually fun and, and it's good to disagree on things. Mm -hmm. Is your mood or energy affected um, from um, the motion of being like in a car or a train or you know, kind of gliding, moving motion? Well, I'd say I find it relaxing. Is that a strong or mild factor? Do you have a history? You said right now your bowel movements are pretty good. Do you have a history of having any constipation in the past mm -hmm. or diarrhea? Do you have uh, warts? I have a plantar's wart on my foot. I haven't seen a doctor. When are you going? I think I saw him twice already and it's still there, so I have to get a laser. Is it hurt? Uh, no. Okay, I would, um, do you have an appointment right now to do that? Schedule uh, I don't. Okay. I would leave that alone because that's something that I would expect the right remedy should help with, so it's right. more indication of how it's going to work and it should, it should go away. So, it's one thing to say. Cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you ever have any problems, um, not constipation, but just hard stool or like pain from stool, like uh, rectal or anal fissures where it tears? Um, no. no? Really? No. Okay. Um, Dr. said I have some. You know, hemorrhoids? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's bad. Did they bother you? Were they painful? 
No, I wasn't aware of it. And when was that? Uh, as part of the follow-up to when I was in the hospital, I got a... Uh, oh, well, actually, uh, six months after that, I had uh, some internal bleeding. where my bowel movements were pretty much blood. So mm -hmm. I had to go back to the hospital, uh, and I lasted for three days. Um, so I had to go back into the hospital, and it went away on its own, but uh, I had to get the... Uh, uh, the upper and lower, the GI, mm -hmm. so the, the snake. Mm -hmm. So I put to sleep, and then they looked both ways, uh, they didn't find anything, um, but that's when they told me what, you know, exactly what was going on. Mm -hmm. Um, but the bleeding thing, they never resolved. Why not? Anything else you can think of? Um, bad memory. Tell you yeah. how much. Forget things very easily and quickly. Good for, you better write things down then, because you know, when we do these follow-ups, we're going to need to know how things are changing. So, all right, um, that's all the questions I have, and so we will. Um, We'll give you guys all an opportunity to try to figure this case out um, while I do the same, and we'll uh, we'll talk more. Um, we'll do you know follow up on this uh, next month, right? Thank you.